Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the new data cards for Kill Team Octarius. Since the reveal for the brand new Kill Team Octarius game, I've been paying close attention to the Warhammer community site, and we've been getting lots of information and articles about this new game. And yesterday, I covered the article that went through five new things that are going to be coming to this new version of Kill Team. But today there's another article which takes us through the brand new bespoke data cards. So in this video, let's click on the article and we'll have a look at all the contents together and discuss what we find. And here we go. So here's today's article. This was out on the 14th of July and it tells us that the games of Kill Team are going to be more electrifyingly good thanks to these new bespoke data cards. So let's have a look down and see exactly what we're going to get. And lots of changes already. The alternating activations we found out about yesterday look really great. So really looking forward to seeing exactly what's going to be coming. And in this article, we get quite a lot of great information. And so it tells us that one of the many huge changes coming to the newly reimagined kill team is a complete rework of the operative's characteristics. And instead of directly adapting Warhammer 40,000 rules, Data cards present a new collection of stats that capture each, com each combatant's aptitudes and special skills in greater detail. And there's a new movement system as well. So we'll go through all that in this video. But here's the data card, so we get a good close look at exactly what these are going to look like. And so the first thing it tells us we're going to notice is the movement characteristic. And at the top there, next to the image, just to the right, we've got the three followed by that white circle. And so this is going to give us the measurement for the movement. And this is going to correspond to four colours with corresponding shapes. And they're all going to represent common distances. And it's these measuring gauges that we'll be using in the game to give us these different distances that we move. And also maybe shoot as well, perhaps on that longer one. So we have to wait and see on that one. And here you can see we've got those four different shapes that are in different colours. And each shape is going to represent a different number of inches that we can move. And then on the measuring gauges, those shapes are on there. So I guess when we paint these up, we just make sure that the shapes that we paint match the colours for these different markers that we've got given here. And so the idea with this is it's going to easily allow us to check our ranges using the combat gauges. And they're all going to be included in the Kill Team Octarius box. And um, as our operatives are injured or affected by special conditions, their movement values are going to increase or, de or decrease. And this new system makes modifying their characteristics really easy. So that's the idea behind this. So this is going to be great. I can't wait to see this actually in play and see how it plays out. Um, but you can see for this guy, for our veteran, our trooper veteran here, he's got the circle, the white circle, and there's three of those, so I guess he can move six inches in total. So you'd use the two inch gauge, measure that three times, and that's his distance. And then, you know, you're not gonna go in straight lines, so these gauges are gonna be handy for measuring when we go around corners and around different parts of terrain and things like that. So that's a nice little change there. I like the, the sound of this. I think this could be quite fun, and having the gauges included in the set is really good too. Now let's move back up to the data card and to the right of the movement characteristic you can see there's another characteristic called APL and this stands for action point limit and this determines how many actions an operative can attempt in a single activation and while most humans and xenos will have a score of two particularly powerful models like space marines can do even more with their turn so they might have more than two for their APL and it says in the article that they'll be covering exactly what actions the soldiers can perform in a later article. So look out for that one coming soon. And of course, I'll be updating it here because this is really exciting. I love learning about new games, especially Kill Team. This is going to be fantastic. You'd also notice just to the right of APL, there's another characteristic called GA. It doesn't tell us in this article exactly what that stands for. So I'm wondering if that's going to be maybe some kind of armor rating. I'm not sure. But if you've got an idea of what that is or you know, then please let me know in the comments below. It would be awesome to find out. But let's move down now because we've also got some defense characteristics to look at. And it tells us that because the tense close quarter natures of a kill team mission, then there's going to be lots of shooting, but there is a defense characteristics to help keep your soldiers alive. And this represents how good they are at diving into the ground or getting out of the way of enemy fire. And there's also a save value. So the defense, I guess, is DF. 
so that's going to be a three and then we've got a save value and this is the thing that they've taken across from the old kill team data cards and it said it's the only thing that's made it across so if you used to play kill team you'll be familiar with this and it does also say though you may be surprised to know that now it only protects you from ranged attacks so this isn't going to play in when you start doing melee and combat up close and an entirely new system turns the melee fights into desperate back and forth duels you'd expect to see in action movies. And this again, this is going to come up later this week in another article. So for, look out for that really soon. And then we've also got next to our save characteristic, we've got the W, which is the wounds characteristic. And you can see here for our trooper veteran, he's going to get seven wounds. OK, so that covers those main six characteristics that we see at the top right of the data card. But now let's have a look at the uh, operatives, abilities and unique actions. And it tells us that each model's specialist skill are represented either as an effect that lasts all game or as actions that they can take in the heat of battle. And the idea is the hardened veteran can shrug off the most grievous wounds. For example, the comms veteran can use their vox casters to relay spur of the moment orders to distant comrades. So let's find out a bit more about that, I hope later in the week. But if we just scroll down, we can start taking a look at some of these abilities here. So here's one that's called Hardened by War. And each time this operative would lose a wound, you can roll one D6. And on a five plus, that wound is not lost and you can ignore any or all modifiers to this operative's APL. So that's one, and then we also get another one for our comms guy here, and this is a signal, and this is a one AP value. And for this, we select one friendly veteran guardsman operative within, and now we're starting to use these symbols, within one pentagon of and visible to this operative, add one to its APL. This operative cannot perform this action if it is within engagement range, of an enemy operative. So you'll notice that, that we're going to get keywords. So where you've got the veteran guardsman there highlighted in the orange, if we scroll back up to the data card, you'll see that at the bottom of the data card, we've got the veteran guardsman there and also keywords. And so there's a keyword section there at the bottom of that card. And if you play 40k, you're going to be familiar with this. And that lets you quickly see if an operative is affected by rules that target a, any of those specific keywords. And then just to the right of those keywords, you can see that there's four symbols and these are going to represent the specialisms your operatives can adopt during a narrative play campaign as you build a kill team of storied heroes. So that sounds great. I'm looking forward to finding out more as well about this narrative play campaign because this is going to be great fun. It looks like we can develop our characters and improve them as we work through like we would with any campaign in any game, I guess. Um, but this this sounds really fun. Hopefully we can bring in more skills and things like that but we'll be taking a much closer look at that and the narrative play in future articles too. So look out for those coming soon. But if we go right down, we can match up these symbols with those different specialisms. And this is a great article. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description to go and check it out. But you can see we've got four specialisms. They're combat, staunch, marksman, and scout. And so that's gonna give us four. I don't know if there'll be any more. This might be the only four, but you'll see that the veteran Creed guy here has got two. He's got the marksman and scout on his data card. So you don't just get limited to one of these specialisms. But we also need to find out a lot more. Let's scroll back up again and have another look at the data card. We've got to find out a lot more about abilities and unique actions and which kind of fighters would get those and how they would play. And then we've also got to learn a little bit more about the different weapons. But we can see here that we're going to get the name of the weapon the attack, I guess that's four attacks, so that's going to be four dice rolls, and then BS and WS, maybe ballistic strength or weapon strength, so that if, if it's a bayonet, we're looking at a weapon strength, and a, a las gun would be ballistic strength, and then the D has got to be damage, and then we've got like a two and a three, so maybe similar to Warcry, if you get a regular hit, it's going to be a two, and if maybe if you get a critical hit, then that's going to be a three. So yeah, can't wait to find out if that's true, but um, it looks like it's going to be that way for sure. And then to the right, we've got SR. Not sure what that means. Again, if you know, please add it in the comments below. And then to the right of that, we've got the exclamation mark. So again, I don't know what that means. Maybe some conditions that are attached to each weapon. So 
there we go. So we're getting a really good look now at some of the mechanics of how the game's going to work. Certainly the movements really explain well here and also the, the different characteristics. Um, the range of the weapons though, I don't know if that where that would come into it. So yeah, we'll find out that later on too. So there we go, that pretty much covers everything in the article and I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check it out if you want to but we've gone through every single thing here in this video but there's some nice images on there. We can see the Kriegs from the different regiments all painted in the different colours here and here and they look awesome. I'm particularly liking the green at the moment so that's maybe the direction I'm going to be going in. I really like that. So yeah, that'll be in the description below. But I'd love to know what you think so far about the rules that we've been getting and um, how you think this is going to affect the game. So join in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. But we're not finished yet. Let's just have a quick look at the website for Kill Team. So if we click on visit the website, that's going to open this up. And then right away we can see the trailer. If you haven't watched this cinematic trailer yet, it's amazing. This sold me on the game before I even found out about all this. It just looked awesome the way they did it and um, really great video. So that's on there. You can also get a really good look at the box. So if you haven't seen my videos already, they're up on the channel where I've gone through the unboxing they did at the reveal and also had a real close look at all the miniatures. So you can see those videos on my channel too, but there's some great info here if you want to have a look at some different pictures. The battlefield just looks crazy good, packed with terrain as it should be for a skirmish game. So really excited about this. And then as we go down, another video you can watch a little bit about. But then it's this part that I found really interesting where we get to explore the factions. And it tells us that across the galaxy, small teams of combat specialists can be found among every race and creed. They're employed to take on the most dangerous missions when deploying an entire army is out of the question. Now, for the previous kill team, I don't think this was the case. If I'm right, you couldn't just have the stats for any of the factions but here it looks like it's opening it up to all the 40k factions much like Warcry did with Age of Sigmar so this I'm really down with I've actually got some of these already that we collected just because we like the look of them me and my son we've got some space marines some grey knights some imperial guards even some death guards um, so yeah this is going to be really good because we can actually use these now in the game and they did say there's going to be a compendium released at the time of release of the Kill Team Octarius box set that is going to open up to the factions so if all the stats are in there for these then that's going to be insane that's going to be well worth getting alongside the game and then you can use all your models from 40k but just to give you an example of what this looks like if we click on one of these it opens it up and then it's going to show us some images tells us about the different ones we can use. So it's got the new ones, the, the new Primaris ones. But then if you go to the Tactical Marine, it still looks like we can use those sets. And the Tactical Marine set is really fun because you've got all different weapon types in there. So I always thought that was great for building a kill team with if you wanted to. You can use scouts and snipers as well. So really great. So this is looking awesome. I'm really liking the idea of having all the factions available here and so brilliant yeah it's looking just better and better each time a new article comes out it just looks really great but yeah i'd love to know what you think so join in in the comments below but for now thanks so much for watching please like if you like it subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on tabletop skirmish games if you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'd be great to see you there.